Hello everyone, and we're going to be reviewing the Ampeg SVT-3 Pro and the Ampeg 610 Ported Cabinet. Alright. The SVT-3 Pro is an amazing amp. Um, you can see what I've got my graphic EQ set to. Features the mute switch. It also features a switch here that will turn your graphic EQ on and off. I prefer it just to add a little bit more dimension to what else is on the amp. you got your tube gain. Usually, ideally, you set it about here to here. It's going to be your sweet spot, or at least for my preference. And I play rock. you got a master volume. Treble. Now, this could be quite the conundrum of confusion. This is not a style switch. This actually puts frequencies into... You can, you can basically pick the frequency that you want to really shine and, and adjust it accordingly. You can take it down or bring it up. The fifth position is 3K. The fourth position is 1.6K. Your third position is 800 Hertz. Your second position is 450 Hertz. And your first, yeah, second position, 450, yeah, I said that. And your first position is 220 hertz. And what you can do, this switch here, switch, this knob, when you turn it up, it's 10 plus dB. You pull it down, it's 20 negative. Thank you, Dino, for that uh, knowledge. Base knob, you know, then you got your ultra high and ultra low, which I think it contours the low knob knob. The low switch contours your signal path. And then, of course, you've got your pre-gain, which the best ideal way to set that up is basically set everything here to flat, as Dino said in the Ampeg TV video, and keep turning it up until you start seeing the peak light come on, and then just pull it back a hair, and then set up all this, and then make sure this is still doing the same. you got a 15 dB cut here, and a bright switch. Pretty simple, great sounding amp. Now, the reason you're all here, the Ampeg 610. There are no videos of this on YouTube, that is why I'm making this. This video, video is going to basically clear up the debate of the 610 versus the 810. The 810 is a monster speaker cabinet, but I do believe the 610 is a better quality amp. And I'm going to show you, well, not quality. They're both high-quality speaker cabinets. But this one is more bang for your buck, in my opinion. You've got six 10-inch woofers. I believe they're Celestians. You've got the tweeter, which really gives you a full sound. Uh, there's a volume knob on the back that if you keep it about halfway up, you're, you're going to have a perfect tone, depending on how you set that guy. And down at the bottom here, you've got three ports. Now this, what this does is it gives you a good sub-bass frequency. Um, this basically sounds like a big amphitheater PA in a little bundle, because you've got, those basically act like you've got a 15-inch crossed over sub with six tens, and then you've got your tweeters or horns if we're talking about PAs. So this cabinet is amazing, hands down. It's 600 watts RMS, 4M cabinet, and it's just it, it's 999.99 new. So we'll just say a thousand dollars, brand new, and it's worth every penny. The 810, however, does not have the ports or the tweeter. You're just getting the speakers. Um, I highly recommend this cab. Go down to a guitar, uh, guitar store or amp store, whatever you've got. Plug up one of these, take your head with you, and plug it up, and then plug up an 810, and see what you prefer. Me personally, I like a lot of sub bass, I like a lot of highs, I like a present mid section. This is the cab.